Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about non-beauty favorites. I'm just kicking it back in this video. I feel like laid back. With my mind, all my money, and my money, on my mind. <laughs> But today we're going to talk about non-beauty favorites. You guys have asked to see non-beauty favorites from me and I want to talk about non-beauty favorites. Don't get me wrong, I love beauty favorites, but sometimes it's just nice to throw random shit at you guys. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about a whole bunch of random things. These aren't like a monthly favorite non-beauty. These are just favorite things that I'm always repurchasing, always using, always eating, always touching, always looking at. So I wanted to share them with you guys and just maybe it would like help you get like a better sense of me. I don't know. So I just walked around my house and pulled a bunch of things that I like and I thought maybe you would like them too so we should talk about them. Alright so first non-beauty favorite are my seeing glasses. If you guys don't know I wear prescription glasses. A lot of you ask me why I squint. Well one, it's hella bright back here. <laughs> two, I, I can't really see. A lot of the time I like cut stuff out of the video and I'm doing this. Like I squint a lot. Um, I don't wear my glasses when I film because I don't have non-reflective frames. And I am nearsighted, which means it's really hard for me to see far away. Up close, not a problem. Um, I mainly wear my glasses at night uh, when I watch TV or when I'm driving or something like that. But I got these really cool frames a while ago and I just have been too busy to put like my actual prescription in them. But I wanted to show them to you guys because I thought I don't know they looked kind of cool and maybe you guys would like them so I can't even wear them as like cool fake frames because you can't peel this off because you have to get your prescription put in them but this is what they look like I love them I feel like such a nerd I feel like I need a pocket protector I just feel so retro as soon as we come back from traveling I am going to the eye doctor I feel like I need a new prescription anyway and getting my prescription put in these frames because I just dig them so much they look super retro and 80s to me and I think that's why they like them so much they're a little dirty because they've just been sitting in the box hello who's who, who is it? I'm filming. But I will link these guys in the bottom bar and let you guys know the frame style and all that jazz because, I don't know, I thought maybe you guys would want to be like nerdy with me. Maybe I should get like non-reflective flame, flames? Flames. Um, maybe I should get non-reflective frames so I can actually film with my glasses on and it would be a lot easier to see. Yeah. It is hot in here today, girl. So let's talk about some like actual sunglasses. I love sunglasses and a lot of you ask what sunglasses I'm wearing like in my vlogs. The majority of the time I'm wearing these guys right here. Um, these are the Desi Perkins Key Collab and these are the high key sunglasses and the style is in black fade. I have all of Desi sunglasses but these are my absolute favorite. I feel like they go with everything. I wear them all the time and my favorite thing about these damn sunglasses is they don't, they're not really heavy on my face so they don't sit heavy on my nose so um, it will leave like a little bit of indentation like if I have makeup on but nothing crazy like the other pair of glasses that I really really like that I'm about to show you guys leave the craziest nose mark on my nose. This is why I wear these frames almost every single day is because they're super lightweight and they don't dig into your nose. So if you wear makeup and you struggle with like the perfect pair of glasses, these are them. I think the black fade is the coolest, um, but it is very deceiving. These things are super duper dark. Sometimes I wear them, I have to take my glasses off because I can't see shit. Another one of my favorite are these from Givenchy as well. And these are so heavy on your nose. like. I'm almost scared to put them on because you have to film the rest of the video, but they're so cute. I just feel like I can't wear these if I have makeup on because they just sit so heavy on the face. But if you know you're not wearing makeup, super cool frames. They're really heavy, really well um, like structured. I mainly wear like when I'm traveling because they're super duper black and I don't have makeup on, but just beware even when you don't have makeup on, they do leave like a super crazy indentation on your nose when you take them off. People are like, what's wrong with your face? I'm like, I just have on heavy sunglasses. It's fine. Why is it so hot? <laughs> okay, so my favorite snack of life, breakfast, whatever, is yogurt and granola. So if you guys don't know, I don't really, I try not to eat like a lot of dairy. I am not vegan by any means. People keep saying things to me like, oh, you're doing this and you're vegan. I am not vegan not vegan. I'm more like vegetarian because I still do eat, like eat pizza and it has cheese on it and stuff like that, but I have not been eating meat for a while now. I try not to eat like yogurt that has dairy in it. So my favorite yogurt that I found that's non-dairy and also has no soy in it is from Kite Hill and it's vanilla and is the Greek style yogurt. Super duper delicious. It's thick like Greek yogurt. It has 10 grams of protein in it, which is really amazing as well because if you're not eating meat, you still need to be making sure that you're getting your recommendations 
recommended daily dose of protein and your recommended daily dose depends on your weight so maybe just google that because i i can't tell you how much you weigh and like how much protein you need i just know how much protein i need um so i try to eat things that have protein in them i was eating another kite hill yogurt but it really had no protein in it and so i switched over to this greek style one i find mine at whole foods as well as my granola which is from whole foods and this is love crunch and it is the dark chocolate cinnamon and cashew mix when I tell you that this is the best granola ever, I'm not lying. It is so good. It will make any yogurt taste good. Like I used to eat this plain yogurt, which was disgusting, like to eat it on its own. I would like gag trying to eat it. But as soon as I put this granola in it, it was like the best thing you've ever tasted. So if you like yogurt and granola, <laughs> please try this combo. But if you're gonna try one over the other, it's the granola. I'm gonna go put this back in the fridge before like I can't eat it, you know, so I'll be right back. Yeah So when I just went to put the yogurt away I saw these guys in the fridge and I was like I have to tell you guys about Beyond Burgers If you do not watch my vlogs if you watch my vlogs, you've already seen these Beyond Burgers These are plant-based burgers and they are the best burgers ever to me This burger just blows a regular burger out of the water I honestly don't even know the last time I ate a burger and if you guys have been following me for a while You know, I used to be like obsessed with in and out burgers and then one day I went there and I ate the burger. I took one bite and I thought it was the worst thing I'd ever tasted in my whole life. It's just weird how like your taste changes and just like, I don't know, it, it, it was really strange. I took one bite of the burger and it was like, never again. And I haven't eaten any red meat since. I mean, I never used to eat red meat really. I used to only eat like In-N-Out burgers. I don't know, the last time I had a steak, it's been years. Um, I just never really liked that stuff. I'm out of breath. <sighs> I've tried tons of veggie burgers, tons of plant-based burgers, and I like a lot of them, but when I had the Beyond Burger for the first time, I was just blown away. It's really the most delicious plant-based burger. So again, this has no meat in it. It's all plant-based, super duper yummy. Again, these are at Whole Foods, and I want Beebs to make these right now. Beebs! <laughs> I gotta go put this back in the fridge too. So another thing I found in my fridge, no, I'm just kidding. I'm done with the fridge stuff, but we are still gonna talk about stuff that I eat. But these are more like vitamin things that I eat. They're from Saqqara, I think is the name of it. And these are the beauty chocolates that I eat. I eat two of these every day and they're for daily collagen boost and glowing skin. And then I also eat the chocolate probiotics. So both of these are dark chocolates. This one's almost empty. I need to get another one. But they're like these little triangles of plant-based dark chocolate that I eat every single day. They're really, really delicious. I like dark chocolate. They're a little more dark chocolatey like a little more bitter they're not really sweet probiotics is what you need for your belly to stay healthy probiotics are basically a bunch of bacteria but like good bacteria that your body needs so it's for your gut i don't like the word gut but that's what probiotics are for i was taking just like a regular probiotic pill but when i saw those chocolates i was like give me the chocolate next is my magic eight ball i love my magic eight ball i talk to it all the time it's just like a funny thing i've loved magic eight balls since i was like a baby and i just think it's like a nice boost in your mind when you ask it a question and it says something like you see it just always gives me like that extra boost that i need i got this magic eight ball i think from Urban Outfitters because you know usually they're black, but this one's like I don't know It kind of looks like an oil spill to me I keep it by the side of my bed and like I said I really do ask it questions all the time and it's I don't think that the magic eight ball is like guiding my life I just like it as like a little motivational booster like when you really like want to know the answer to something and It's like driving you crazy. You just pick it up and ask your magic eight ball and see what it says And most of the time it gives me like good good energy I think I've gotten no one at once and I like didn't talk to it for a week <laughs> If I have lipstick on my teeth, please excuse me. It's been a long day. All right, next. I got this as a Christmas present last year from my management team, and I just love it so much. It sits on my mantle. You guys have probably seen it in, like, a vlog or whatnot, but I've never, like, shown it, shown it. But it is this bobblehead. Why has Beeb's got hair all over his face? Like, the cat's been rubbing on him. So it is a bobblehead of me and Jeremy, and it just makes me laugh so hard. Like, when I wake up in the morning and I walk past my mantle, I just look at it, and I'm just like, it instantly puts me in a good mood. When we got this delivered last year, we honestly laughed for like 30 minutes just like cracking up one because jeremy like looks like butthead like from the side like he looks like beavis or butthead so anytime we like walk by it we're like <laughs> <laughs> it's so random but i just love it so much like i love personalized gifts like this and like how on point is my outfit like an oversized sweater and thigh-high boots all day 
Next is my vlog camera. I love this little camera. I've probably gone through like eight of them, so buyer beware. If you drop this one time, I feel like it's kaput. You just better buy another one. Um, it's because when you open it, I feel like the lens extends like this. So I've dropped this a lot of times with the lens open and it's super sensitive and it'll be like cannot connect a lens. So this is probably no joke like my eighth one. I've gone between the black one and the white one and the black one and the white one and the black one and the white one. Um, I suggest if you like to do makeup and you have makeup on your hands, don't get the white one because it gets dirty. Get the black one. So this is the Sony 5100. I use this to strictly vlog with. I don't really like how it takes photos, so I don't take any of my pictures with this. I strictly use it to vlog. A lot of you have asked what kind of vlog camera I use, and this is it. And then I use this little tripod stick situation and I got it from Amazon I think I just googled like handheld tripod um, and I like it because you can like move it around so if you're like selfieing like this you know you can get like a little good zoom actioning happen so definitely one of my favorites I cannot live without this guy he's like my child I try to take him everywhere I go if I go places which most of the time hermit crab mode is activated and I'm in the house <laughs> oh I forgot to mention another chocolate to you guys. I stay eating the chocolates. <laughs> this is a sleep chocolate and is from Good Day Chocolate. I originally found it at Whole Foods, but I buy mine now like kind of in bulk on Amazon. This is the one to kind of help you sleep. So sometimes like I have trouble sleeping, so I keep these by the side of my bed and I like pop two chocolates in the middle of the night if like I can't go to sleep and it really, I don't know if it's like a, the placebo effect. There is melatonin in it, um, but Sometimes I feel like it's just a placebo, like, oh, I ate something that's gonna make me fall asleep. Therefore, I'm sleepy and I'm falling asleep. You can eat one chocolate all the way to four chocolates. The four chocolate is the full dose of it. Um, I think there's like eight pieces of chocolate in here. I get the sleep ones and the energy ones, and I know they have calm ones and another one, I'm not sure. Beebs always eats all the energy ones. He like never saves any of them for me because Let's face it, I don't really need the energy. He does, because he's always working out or always playing basketball or doing something. Again, I get these from Amazon, so I'll link them down in the bottom bar for you guys if you are interested. They're super duper good. They are dark, ugh, they are dark chocolate as well. All right, next, I think this might be beauty related, but it is what I put on my two little baby finger tattoos, which are like my favorite things of life, and I want more finger tattoos. I want a tattoo on every single finger. Is that like overkill? probably but I don't care I love finger tattoos and I waited so long to get them because I only have one other tattoo and it's on my hip and it is a star with an Italian flag in it I got it when I was like 18 I think um, and I always wanted finger tattoos but a lot of my friends have tattoos and their finger tattoos never looked good they looked like blown out just like way too thick I got these tattoos done when I was in Jersey with Carly and Nicole um, this one is my zodiac kind of star sign I don't know if it is or not we found it on Pinterest along with like everyone's star signs and we just really liked it so um, me and Nicole got this tattoo because she's a Pisces as well and then Car got her Libra one and then this one is a unilome which just kind of signifies that you're like on the path to enlightenment like all these swirls and like squiggly like craziness happening I know it looks like a W but it's like little swirls this is like all the hectic and like struggles in your life and then like the straight line is like you being on the path to enlightenment so I thought it was really cool and the guy that did them I feel like oh I wish he was here because I would have so many finger tattoos because they're so delicate and small and like exactly what I wanted I didn't mean to go into my tattoo journey but um I just want more finger tattoos is basically the point of the story and they didn't hurt that bad either it was like five minutes so they didn't take long and it didn't hurt that bad it did hurt but not that bad I mean I took a needle under the eye for my filler so I feel like I can do anything <laughs> but what I put on them at night is this skin FX and it is a tattoo balm that heals protects and revives tattoos so it's made out of coconut oil and I just put a little bit of this on basically like this much just mash it between my two fingers and I just put it on my tattoos like every single night just trying to take care of them because finger tattoos um, will fade quickly just because they're on your fingers. I'm washing my hands a lot. Even though these two are hanging on pretty well, I'm sorry that I'm kind of giving you the middle finger. I'm just trying to show you what I'm working with. Do I put it on my star on my hip? No, I don't care about that one. I wish I want to fade and go away. <laughs> My next random favorite is my drone. This is the Maverick Pro from DJI, and I love how tiny it is. It is super compact. So this is what it looks like when he's up and ready to fly. And then, ow. And then this is what he looks like when he is tucked up 
and ready to go. Look how small and tiny and cute he is. And I just really like that he's like small and compact. Um, I have no complaints with it. So if you guys were ever like looking into getting a drone, I feel like this is a really great one for beginners. I never flew a drone before this guy and I took this guy up in the air the first day like a pro. Your footage just looks amazing because I mean, it's way up in the air. It's smooth, it's crisp, it looks so good. So you just look like a straight up professional when you have any kind of drone footage happening in your videos. I have a million coffee table books. I love books. I've always loved books. I've always loved to read. I just think books are the most magical thing of life. They can transport you anywhere. And being an only child, I read a lot. I love books. And my mom taught me like super young to like always respect books and care for them. And it would always like freak me out, like almost OCD a little bit when like people would like turn a page, like, you know, bend the page down to like mark their spot. It would like freak me out. I always take super good care of my books. It's kind of a goal of mine too to like have my own coffee table book. 2018 goals or not. And that's like a life goal is to have like a coffee table book. I just think it would be like really cool. So I want to share two of my more recent ones with you guys. So my first one is from Disney and it is their villains, delightfully evil. And it's basically Oh, I also love the smell of books. Anybody else? Just me? Okay. And then basically in this book, it's just telling you all about Disney villains, which I really like Disney villains. I always think that their makeup is like way cuter than the princess. <laughs> but it kind of shows you like how they created the character. It gives you like a little background of them, the year they were created. It just has every single Disney character in it. And I also am like super into drawing and like illustration stuff like that. So I find it fascinating. And I really like coffee table books because I feel like it adds a lot to the decor. I feel like it just makes it look more homey and more personal so you can just kind of collect books that you're like into So I love Disney. I love anything Disney related So when I saw this I was like you must be mine and I get a lot of my coffee table kind of cool books That I don't see anywhere else from Urban Outfitters. They have tons and tons of books I'm constantly on Urban Outfitters um, Looking at their new releases because they always come out with new books like every single week and I gotta stay up to date <laughs> My next one is this massive baby and this is all about Barbie like basically her history from start to finish super cool oh I just got like lip gloss all over it and it's massive I love how big it is I love that this part is like mint blue so it's basically Barbie's history from like when she started to the early 2000s 2015 just like what inspired them to create Barbie just so many cool things that like you wouldn't know they're like actually styling the Barbie dolls cutting their hairs all their little heads I love this book so much <sighs> Certain books to me smell so good, like how a yearbook smells, and this one. <sighs> it smells so good. All right, and last but not least for my non-beauty favorites, I'm just going to give you a little taste, a little taste of my crystal collection. You guys want the crystal video. It is coming, but it probably won't be around for like two weeks or so because I want to make it, I want to make it really good for you guys and just make sure that I cover all the bases in it. So um, I'm putting a lot of like planning into it. So just give me some time and it will be up. You guys are really into the crystals as well, which I think is super cool. So I just thought I would share like just tiny ones that I use on the regular. So this is a crystal sphere and it is rose quartz. It's super small and tiny and a ball. So the different shapes of crystals um, kind of let you know how their energy is being dispersed. So since this is a sphere, the energy from the crystal is just blazing out from all around it. Um, this guy is smoky quartz and since it's in a wand, the energy is flowing from here. So like sometimes when I meditate, I'll have two, but most of the time I have two amethysts in my hand and I hold one amethyst kind of this way towards me and the other amethyst out this way in your hand so it's creating like a flow of energy so this guy pointing in is pushing the energy in and then the bad energy negativity is coming out and pushing out the energy this way I know I sound like Spencer Pratt and my crystals but I think it's really cool I've been into crystals for a really long time for the sheer fact that I just liked how they looked I'm now getting more into the energy and like the scientific reasons why why people believe in healing crystals and look I'm like getting goosebumps talking about it because I just think it's so magical and amazing and again if you don't believe in magic it's never gonna happen to you so you have to believe in anything 
that you're doing for it to kind of have an effect on your life. So um, I love crystals so much. I think that they're so amazing and not just for like their beauty aspect, but just for like their healing powers. So my little ones I hold like on the regular, like my big crystals that I have, you know, I can't be like walking around holding that thing. So my collection started with like tiny crystals, like these little ones. So this is an amethyst wand. It's just like a little cute wand. This is like one of my first crystals ever. Um, I've had this guy for a few years now and I just love it. Like I love holding it. I love feeling its energy. Also smoky quartz is another one of my favorites. These guys can vary so much from like almost clear with a little bit of brown to like almost completely black. Um, I will have lights and stuff behind the crystal so you can actually see like in depth and what they look like because like here it just looks like a black stone that I'm holding but there's so much happening inside of it it makes me excited and then my last little favorite guy is pyrite which a lot of people know as fool's gold um I had this really cool teacher that was always into stones and crystals when I was in third grade and I just remember him so much because he would always bring in cool stuff like this and show it to us and um that's originally like where my we're gonna get into it in my crystals video. I'll give you guys the rundown on why I've always been into them. Um, but this guy inspires creativity. It helps with ambition and perseverance. Um, he always had this in class because he always called it the student stone. And he said that all students should carry around pyrite with them because like I said, it kind of inspires creativity within art, science, mathematics, like anything like that, this stone is really great for. And it's like a commitment stone. So if you have this stone with you, you're like committed to doing what you say you're going to do. All right, so now that I sound like a total nerd, <laughs> No, I don't care. Like, I think nerds are the coolest people around. <laughs> so those were a few of my non-beauty favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that maybe it kind of made you feel like you know me a little bit better. And I, and I feel like we should incorporate, you know, more non-beauty favorites onto the channel because it's fun to, like, talk about random shit sometimes. Well, I mean, it was fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. Was it fun for you? I hope it was fun for you. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? I hope not. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video.